vision. All right, now it's time for the show to begin. Part two. So this is where uh, we begin actually riffing the show. Mm-hmm. Y'all. And uh, <laughs> the, the footage of the two of the two coasts. All the Florida Fantasmic footage is footage I got myself, uh, except for f- clips from, like, official promos and stuff. All the footage of the show itself is footage I filmed over the course of my time living in Florida. The Disneyland footage is compiled from other people posting Disneyland Fantasmic clips on YouTube. The big advantage there... Uh, th- oh, talk about this, yeah. This was probably the first gag I came up with, just because of how excited the crowd... Like, the crowd seems surprised when Mickey shows up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was just a PhotoPass cast member holding the camera for that. Um, oh, this this was completely... I don't think I even told you about this before I sent you the footage. I, it was just me performing... Uh, it was a video of me performing Cruella de Vil at El Rio, which I, I, I might repost somewhere. It was on Blip for a while. But I just dubbed over um, the uh, the instrumental of a worm quartet song, yeah. and just I, I it was just something that I needed to foist into existence. And <laughs> <laughs> well, and I yeah I, I wrote the uh, sex dream kick. Well, I wrote both the phrase sex dream kick and sex dream kick is my Katy Berry cover band, which right. is kind of cheating. But I wrote those and sent those to you, and then you sent me that clip, and I think I rewatched <laughs> it like five times. Yes, right away. <laughs> Also, uh, we just passed a line where it was, uh, you do the father of all lies line, and then Charlie says, uh, Mickey parts the Red Seas. And I wrote those lines separately just in the gradual way I pieced together the script from notes and didn't even notice how close together a God yeah. and Satan joke were until you said to me, then after that, can I shout, which side is he on? Yeah, exactly. Um, so the Disneyland footage, the advantage was uh, most of the people who post phantasmic footage uh, from Disneyland on YouTube are already posting multicam footage. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's right. a lot of this editing was already done by the people uh, posting it to YouTube, and I, I did some edits there too. Uh, hey, con guy, again. <laughs> now, oh, now. again, we, we also recorded a bunch of ABC <laughs> yeah. retrospective yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. Sorry. Con guy only has a couple <laughs> of lines in this, but con guy is ridiculously fun to write for. He <laughs> yes. is, but this this was like the first time in a long time that I had performed the character, so my voice is really, really off when it comes to that. And I think I was also coming off a cold too. Most so, as, as we all like are right now. now. As we yeah. all are, yeah. Um so doing that, like getting the camera, trying to get into that like early 20s mind space of mine <laughs> was was yeah it, it wasn't necessarily difficult but you know yeah, glowing it was a monkeys. challenge glowing yeah. monkeys but yes yeah, so it made it a bit easier to piece this together that so many people had already basically edited professional looking cuts of phantasmic um and all the YouTube channels I stole from are listed in the credits, so you can go check those out. Dave, you borrowed from them. You didn't steal. <laughs> Pack a dirt. <laughs> I've always, I, I, I've always loved the guitar solo of, of yes. Pink Elephants on it's Parade. It's really like... awesome, and it, it's, it's a shame that Florida doesn't have that part. Yeah, and it surprises me that Disney in '92 would have been. I know it was, it was kind of. A, 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 a naked attempt at seeming hip on their yeah. part, it must be. But it actually is a really solid guitar solo, even, even if you're like a rock fan. It's really. By the way, cool. as many yeah. as many people have pointed out in the comments, they have since updated the bubble segment in Florida. Mm. They, they've added, I think they've added like Tangled and Frozen to the bubbles, but sure. they keep the same music arrangements. So you know the wrong melodies are playing under the clips from those. Charlie, fix your collar. Charlie, fix your collar. <laughs> oh, how many? How well? I think I accidentally stole that joke from you when I was doing the Universal retrospective. When I turn and look at the Shrek 4D sign, <laughs> yeah. like I, I mean, as you, as you should. You. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I looked at my own videos and said, "Tony, fix your hair," Tony, <laughs> fix your hair, Tony, fix your, yeah, just yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, retrospective, like self self-awareness yeah. <laughs> you know the one the one joke you pitched that i forgot to include was tony in one of your uh, punch-up 
drafts you suggested after the drowning a cricket joke, I cut to something involving cricket from Always Sunny. <laughs> That's and, right. And and I just forgot to do that. <laughs> eh, what are you gonna do? I mean, it, I, and we discuss this later on, but it. I, I mean, the genius of this show is that all the stuff that doesn't make sense can be written off as it's a dream. Yeah, know, yeah exactly. It, it doesn't have to make any sense. Well, it's it's not a narrative experience. It's a pure. It's a purely visceral oh, experience, absolutely. and. When I, whenever I would watch Fantasmic in Florida, I'd question whether I really wanted to stay on that side of Orlando that late at night. But then I'd come away from the show, and just like the music swelling at the end, I'd be like, nope, I, this is what I wanted you to made do. made the right choice. <laughs> oh, and, and this is going to be pirates, if rumors are to be believed. Yeah. Uh, oh, even this, in Florida? Well, no, not in Florida, but in, in California oh, when it comes back okay. this summer. It's, it's, they're going to replace Peter Pan with I mean, with it pirates, would make a lot but... more sense if it were pirates in Florida as well. Well, it occurred to me that, you know, the problem is Disney hasn't made that many movies with boats since Pocahontas. I mean, maybe now that Moana is a big hit. Oh, could... that's true. Yeah, they, they could, they could change Florida to Moana. But um, uh, but aside from that, I, I can't really <laughs> think of that many. I almost photoshopped uh, Governor Ratcliffe into the, onto the Europe <laughs> cover, but then I was like, oh, this video's taking too They're long already. They're criminally non-existent final countdown. <laughs> yep. I think that was another ad-lib of That yours. was another ad-lib. Yeah. I also had another ad-lib about like them digging for gold, which they would find because there's tons of Jews buried in Florida. But that, yeah. one, you, that one you rightfully cut. Yeah. I wouldn't have. <laughs> but then I guess I'm allowed to make that joke. You are. Yes. Me, the Aryan-looking motherfucker. I, I was going to steer away from that. I do like this, like how you're in front of Florida's Peter Pan, and then it cuts to me in front of our Peter Pan. Yeah, yeah that and and that was one of the first uh, one of the first things I can see. Although you, your lens is quite dirty, it, right? it, it really lens. yeah yeah that, that that that's what I think when I look at my your at my footage here. Well, and uh, so my cameraman for my side of it was uh, was a coworker of mine from my uh, from the job that got me down in Florida. He was he was another writer, oh. and uh, he you know I I dragged him around just to uh, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios just because I I didn't want to take up too much of his time. So everything in downtown Disney and uh, Animal Kingdom, I just shot myself with my tripod and whatnot. Gotcha. Um, and your arms. And my arms, yes. <laughs> And uh, he was, like, he was down for just pointing the camera at me while I said things that made no sense to him. And I sometimes gave him context, but uh, <laughs> I, I basically just told him I was collaborating with friends of mine in California, and that's all he needed to know. <laughs> I think I had to check Pocahontas out from the library to, uh, to rip uh, on DVD to rip to rip that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I just get DVDs from Netflix when I have time. Uh, every on the on the rarest of occasions when I just can't find the footage, I'll I'll actually buy the DVD. Or one time I remember for my Escape from Tomorrow review, I needed a clip from Jurassic World, and the review was going up like in just a couple of days, and I didn't have time to get it from Netflix, so I got it from a red box, and ah. it oh. work. That works. Yeah. Hey, every well, this part is, of the DVD Buffalo. So for so for another this is for a completely different video but uh, when I did my obsession of the moment on Popstar I owned Popstar on iTunes but I didn't own it on DVD yet and my budget was really tight that month so I I, I couldn't justify buying a movie I already owned but I needed clips from the deleted scenes uh for to talk about something in the review and so I got it from Redbox, only to find that the Redbox version didn't have the bonus yep. features. Yeah, the Universal does that now. They got it. They, they yeah. the, the rental copies only have the movie. Also, uh, that line just there wasn't a lie. I never noticed in person that there's another character up there when John Smith climbs <laughs> up the mountain. Like not until editing the thing did I realize, oh, he, which he's actually doing something. Which going back to all the promotional footage, I've noticed because obviously Phantasmic is later on the list. I don't know when this is going to be coming out, but. <laughs> Um, I, I've noticed that all the bits that have the like the the vacation footage or the vacation planning uh, footage that they posted to YouTube um, from a bunch of DVDs, 
every time they cut to Disneyland's Fantasmic, they always have shots of John Smith swinging. Yeah. I'm like, hmm. Wrong coast. Well, every, uh, I, I noticed that too, and every Disney Park promotion, promotional footage, even when it's focusing on one specific park, <laughs> always includes something from both coasts. And I love when we're just pedantic like this. Yeah. Like, Clearly, in your imagination, it's just sort of a refrain, but we're like, we treat yeah. it as a complete sentence. Yeah. And I love these parody lyrics to yeah. Sunday Night Prince. Oh my come. god, yes. <laughs> right there. I think this was, this was one of the later additions to the script, was, was this specific uh, yeah. parody here. This date's not going well. Why don't you go to hell? You ain't my love, true. It's not me, it's you. <laughs> and this was uh, this was one of your observations, Tony, was that none of the princesses yeah. about, who have songs about dreams. Well, I think I noticed that when I specifically searched my iTunes library for the word dream yeah. to find songs to pitch to you. And it was like, oh, yeah, dream is a wish you're high once upon it. Well, whatever. <laughs> it, it, it would be weird, though, to dream about dreaming. I mean, that's some Inception shit. Blomp. Wait, but are there any Inception jokes in this episode? Uh, I don't think there are in the review itself, but I did a teaser for the episode that I used oh, the music right. from the Inception that's teaser. Right, that's oh, right. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, and yes, Tony J. Tony J. Mm -hmm. You can see. Uh, actually, I can't remember. Yeah, you can see a crane there that's building new fantasy land. Oh ah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Wait, a Disney park with construction? Never happened. What are you talking about? Yeah, we accidentally shot this on the day that they were setting up for the Christmas parade. Yeah. We, we keep... We I, keep doing that. I shot... Like, my aforementioned cameo for the Small World Review was shot the day they were filming the Christmas parade in Florida that year. And the when we went to shoot for the uh, Small World video... Like, they were setting up for America's Funniest Videos. That's right. <laughs> and they had, like, that massive scaffolding right in front of the uh, the train station. Yeah, we were going to shoot something in the train station, but we uh, we couldn't get to it, so we had to improvise and shoot it uh, near the train station. Also, the scripted line, I think, was cows and birds, but Charlie accidentally said cows and ducks, but then I was like, oh, but then I can cut to this clip from The Weekenders where they say the phrase <laughs> cows and ducks, so it works perfectly. Yay, accidental flubs Yay. and references. And you know how I never pass up an opportunity for a reference. Indeed, indeed. Well, ducks are birds anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And, also and that, Disney, in Disney's context, they're mighty. That... <laughs> That last uh, narration of yours, Charlie, was edited from two takes because uh, the script, it was just... Um... Oh, I love the end. Yeah. <laughs> we went on for a while on this one. And oh, yeah. And... I don't think I... I don't... I, I remember I got that flask from... Uh, I think my stepdad had it. And, and when he sent it to me... Uh, I, I, I think he forgot to drain it before sending, and it actually had some alcohol in it. And I felt like, and and I actually took a swig from it to, to sort of practice, and I accidentally got a mouthful of alcohol. Now I'm not a recovering alcoholic, thank yeah. God. But if I had been, yeah. that would have been it for me. It would have been, oh well, twelve years that, sober down the drain. Uh, th that that recorded earlier, that flashed on screen, was because you mentioned your fiance. My fiance, yes. and, and, after and it was this a callback to uh, Ryan Hip's cameo in. Um, uh, the Boy Meets World review where he mentions Blockbuster and you put recorded earlier. Oh, that's right. On, on the screen. <laughs> and uh, But I was saying uh, the voiceover earlier where uh, you say she turns herself completely ugly because fuck it, why, why, why uh, change the inevitable? Uh, why fight the inevitable? In the script it was just she changed herself completely ugly because why fight the inevitable? Then there was one take in the voiceover you just said she turns herself completely ugly because fuck it. And then you just like <laughs> crack yourself up saying that. And I, so I just edited the two together, and it 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 worked better than uh, than without the fuck it. Yeah, there were a lot of like I sounding like a broken record now. Like there were a lot of things that I just decided to add on to or plus, as they say in the in the imaginary community. And, um, and they all worked. And they all worked, but <laughs> I. For some I just had like a hell of a lot of fun recording that dialogue. I didn't think I'd get through all of it too. 